Hi there. Agility, the king of buzzwords in business today. Everyone wants it, everyone needs it, but what does it actually mean? Today, I will illustrate agility by doing a case study about the agile flagship company, Spotify. Spotify is the world's biggest audio streaming service, ahead of Apple Music and Amazon Music. One big factor of Spotify's success comes from its extensive agility. Let's explore that together. Spotify's business agility consists of three elements. First, an agile organizational structure. Second, agile values and principles shared by all employees. And third, agile methods. The core element and backbone of Spotify's business agility is the organizational structure, known as the Spotify model. It is very well researched and serves as a blueprint for agile transformation in companies around the globe. The Spotify model is a matrix organization that is heavily focused on autonomous teams called squads that are free to choose which new product features to develop and which approach to choose as long as their outputs are in line with Spotify's overall goals. Squads consist of up to 10 members from different fields such as software development, design and marketing. The head of each squad is a product owner responsible for the output. Outputs of squads are new product features, such as the Spotify radio function. You could say that each squad acts as a mini startup. Collections of three to six squads from related areas form a tribe. The third element called chapter consists of employees from the same competency area, such as developers or designers, that enable firm-wide knowledge and skill transfer. Guilds are interdisciplinary groups that transcend the squads and tribes and enable innovation through sharing tools, code and practices. While it might seem a bit messy at first, it is indeed quite cleverly organized. Since these squads act as autonomous mini-startups, a great sense of common purpose and trust is needed among Spotify's employees. Another important principle is that of customer orientation and continuity. The squads constantly rely on agile methods to build new features measure their success with customers and learn from the insights. One example of such a feature is the Spotify radio function, which an autonomous squad developed and tested using the lean startup build measure learn feedback loop. The idea behind the feature is that it proposes similar songs to the one you are currently listening to, songs that have the same energy and vibe. Users know this feature as the Spotify radio. The squad has identified a customer need and autonomously decides to work on this idea. To address this customer need, the squad built a minimum viable product, MVP, of this new radio function. Now comes the tricky part where many companies might lose some time and that is the question whether the MVP is ready to be customer tested. Obviously, you want to present a somewhat finished product to your customer. So this can often cause some anxiety. The clever way that Spotify goes about this is by using regularly scheduled release trains. Remember how I talked about continuity as an agile value? What the squad would do is simply add the new radio function to the next release train that is then presented to a small number of users within the app. So Spotify does this testing within a limited blast radius, meaning that if a feature is really bugged, it would only affect some users but not all of them. They use a feature toggle that lets them switch off the new function within seconds in case something goes wrong. That way they don't have to worry about the whole internet being full of angry users writing about a failed new feature. During this testing, the squad measures the radio function's performance, learns from the insights and improves it to ensure customer satisfaction. After several feedback rounds, they learn greatly what customers prefer and may be ready to proceed and fully roll out the new feature to the Spotify app. Last but not least, I want to stress that this type of business agility goes hand in hand with a fail-friendly environment. The idea is to foster continuous improvement, or as Daniel Ek, Spotify's founder, put it, we aim to make mistakes faster than anyone else. With that being said, thank you for your attention, stay agile and good luck with your further studies.